What up, baby? Look at this guy. Look at this guy. John, <laughs> fuck. Crisp. You look good. Oh, shit. You sound crisp. Thank you, buddy. This is that This is that mic that I got. It's it's called the Sure. sure. Or something. Dude, I got yeah. one of those. Look. Ooh, sure. Look at Sure, brothers. Buddy, you sound way better than me. That's not good. No, it's perfect. That's great. I don't know what. Bro, listen, to be honest, I don't know anything about technology, Bruno. Buddy. Everyone, like, all my buddies set this shit up. Like, I have no idea about any of this. Buddy! <laughs> yes, that's me too. I got, yo, where's Ori at? Ori, hands up, man. Ori's my guy. He's like, buddy. He, that's he's ghost for me. Ghost? ghost? Of chat? That's, yeah. Shout out, ghost. Shout out, ghost. Shout out, Ori. Ghost like, man. honestly, Ori used to be like this young, spry you know, he's, you know, and then he, he started, you know, hanging out, and he's my tech guy, and and but he aged fifteen years in the last like couple. That's what happens hanging out with you for a couple of weeks. For oh, sake. I'm <laughs> telling you, man, it's hard to keep up sometimes. John, man, I love you, buddy. It's so good to see you, uh, guys. Is he coming in loud? Do you want me to pump him up? Is he good? Am I too loud? What's the you know? What? Let's pump you up, man. Let's pump you up a little bit. Why not? Just because pump I love up. your sexy voice. Man, is that too loud now? So far, what do you think of this season so far, man? I'm actually so this is Bruno. I'm not gonna bullshit. This is the first season that I've and I say watched. Like I don't know anything that's happening besides what the episodes show me and what Twitter tells right. me. Right. But I try to stay off big with our Twitter because y'all are fucking wilding out there. <laughs> 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 but uh, but this is the first season I've watched, man. Probably since season five that I've actually watched the season and like taken time to to check it out. So I know it's uh one thing it's been John, interesting. I'm enjoying I, it. I Everyone was said well, the last couple of years has been sus, but like I'm like, man, if it was like this, I, I don't know. I might have missed some shit. No, you haven't missed anything, man. All I know, <laughs> all I know is season five, you were going hard in on Twitter, man. You were like fighting everybody, man. John was in Bro, his fighting era, I'm man. That's why production hates me, bro. Production <laughs> hates me. There's like, no way. All of them, like all of them, unfollowed me from like Instagram and Twitter. Like none of them respond to any of my messages. No. Bro. It was like, bro. It was like I was on drugs. Like I did. I was in the. I was in the John is John is addicted to drugs era. Yeah. I can't remember it. So now, I'm like, I'll go up to like I'll message like one of the producers, and be like, hey, like, love you. Like, how's everything? And they'll just leave me on red. And I'm like, oh damn, I was wilding back in the day, wasn't I? <laughs> but John, John's a wild, wild man. I love, I love me some John. John and I have always been boys since the day, the day always. we met, man. It was, uh, it was good stuff. So, um, yeah, man. I mean, I, you know, I'm liking this. Season. I'm definitely liking the season, but uh, you haven't missed much if you haven't watched since season five. If I'm being very honest, man, I mean, yeah, all the same shit. But yeah, all so I remember is like when I came out of season five, John's just fighting the world. It was literally John versus the world, man, and you were just Bro, it fucked, you weren't it holding back because me, me and Netta had like that like I don't know what you call it like the on off again post show mental breakdown togetherness like whatever whatever you, whatever you want to call it you know what i mean and that was on and off and i knew that she was going on the show so like i also knew that uh i also knew some things before the show that like i was very it was it was the worst experience ever watching someone that you care about on big brother especially when what happens happened to her oh fuck. it was like it was like man i was but i was a mess that whole season too it was like that was that was the time when I was like, oh, I'm probably going to change my life up after this. <laughs> you, uh, Dude, I got to tell you, man, you're looking fucking good, though. Appreciate you, man. You're looking appreciate good, you. man. Work. I, I appreciate work. you, buddy. I, I, I want to say, uh, John, like I said, John's been a very good friend of mine for years now. We, we we're boys. Um, I still do believe he's one of the best players I ever played. I'm going to say my full chest, man. Uh, no social game can match this guy's social game, period. If you haven't watched, if, if anybody in... If anybody in John's chat has not watched him play, I'm telling you right now, John, if you ever meet him in real life, I always talk about this in my, in my chat. John, like there's, there's things that's called an X factor. When you're in the house, there's like people just like, like you. You have that magnetism. John is that guy. John is 100% that fucking guy. Uh, you just love lot, him. Man. No, listen, Who's that man. guy this season? Who's that guy this season? What do you mean? Who's, who's the that guy, guy that everyone loves? Buddy, that, that doesn't exist anymore, man. What do you mean? There's Be no back. John Party 2.0. Are you kidding me? <laughs> what do you mean that's impossible man what do you that mean ended, that ended that ended preseason five where <laughs> yeah. no i'd say uh i'd say you know i don't know maybe todd i don't even know man i don't even know Todd is man the the craziest thing ever is 
So I saw the bios and I saw Todd's and I was like, Jesus, like this is this is dull. Like this is <laughs> this is insane. And then I was flooded with messages from Newfoundlanders who knew Todd and they were like, You are gonna love this guy. He's hilarious. He's the life of the party. And I was like, is this the, 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 the Todd that I just watched his interview, the preseason that, interview? That's what I hear, too. Apparently, this guy is, like, the guy. You know, he's, like... The guy, bro. Apparently. And now he's wheeling, wheeling Donna? Like, come on. This guy got it all. Apparently, he's, like... Because, you know, I talked to Pike quite a bit, and, and, and Pike and him are boys. And uh, oh, apparently... Pike and him are buddies, eh? Yeah, well, Pike... So, Pike's... Well, he was on... Pike, I had Pike on last week, and he said his girlfriend and, and him are, like, really good friends. And apparently oh, this I guy's saw, wild. I saw those, yeah. Yeah, so apparently this guy's wild. But we don't – and he had that, like, whole, like, uh, the, the, the the banana hammock thing, you know, this big old pecker. But we don't – you know, <laughs> I haven't seen that side of him. You know what I mean? So, uh, but – It's interesting, man. But it's like it's it's a different – he's he's such a different vibe than what – even if I was looking at, like, watching comedy. It's usually not really my style of even watching comedy. But some of the stuff he says just kind of – and the way he says it just catches me, and I'm just like, that is that's friggin' funny, man. Yeah. He's, he seems, I think, I, that's the thing with what we have now. We don't have the feeds, we don't have that stuff. And I'm like you, man. I watch the show for what it is. I'm not, I'm like you, right? But yeah. uh, I feel like we don't. I don't know. I just feel like we're not connected with anybody this year. I don't we're know so if it's just disconnected. me. Yeah, I feel the same. I'm, I'm disconnected to all the house guests, man. There's nobody. I'm just like, yeah, I really. Like, this is my person. Now, Dougie's my boy uh, in real life. We play a lot of Call of Duty together. Big shout-out to Dougie. Yeah, big shout-out to Dougie. I think he's doing good for, with, with the tools he has. I think he's you know, going to be in a little... You're all caught up, right? I, uh, I'm i pretty sure um, uh, Romeo went home last week. Who the fuck is Romeo? The showman's guy. Oh, buddy. What's his name, Mark? Yeah, that guy. Mark, yeah. So Mark went home last week. Is it Mark? Steve? Matt. Matt. <laughs> <laughs> Matt, gosh darn it! I should have got that one. I feel Matt. Okay, well we had six minutes of Matt all year. Um, anyway, Matt all, went home. It was all with Lexus. Man, that's what that's what hurt. That's what I don't mind. I don't mind showmances. I don't mind showmances if you're gonna fuck shit up. Like I don't mind like a yeah Evan and Jill showmance. Where whoa, it's whoa, like, whoa, 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 whoa! What do you mean? Why did you say John and Netta? Why did you? Why did you skip yeah, John? Yeah. Well, Emmett and Jill, I feel like we're more. Yeah, you're right. Okay. Or me and Netta, where we were like, we weren't there. We weren't there to to cuddle or even hang out, bro. We were like, okay, we get it. It's me and you. But now let's go fuck shit up. Mm -hmm. Like it was never a time where we were like, oh, but what about what about me and you and our relationship and how? Like it was like we were there no, for you were business. The, yeah business oh 100 that's a and i i don't see if it's a showman's like that that's there to play and they're just gonna like run shit like ike dimitri i'm cool with that like oh, even God, though bro i i mean i could we and i could don't talk or like yeah. get along at all but that bro her and dem were probably the biggest fucking powerhouse bro that's probably ever gonna play big brother yeah Canada and I, i'm cool with the showman's ever. like that you know what i mean yeah. like I, I don't like showmances i don't care for showmances never but a, a one that's actually playing and like putting in work you and Netta, uh, Emmett and Jillian, Dem and Ica. I'm cool with that. You know what I mean? But it's Matt and Lexus, changed, like. Bro. It's probably an earlier thing, man. It's like, like, we, the earlier seasons, again, I think we had a high percentage of just absolute gamers. Almost in every season, man, you look at the first, first four or five. Right. You know what I mean? Um, right. I, I'm not sure, and I also think too, like you were talking about, you were talking about earlier, dude. It's changed so much from the viewers' perspective too, where they're not connecting with any of the house guests. How can you connect from watching an hour episode? I have no idea. Kayla, the the Kayla, I would love to see. I would love to see what Kayla is doing outside these uh, edited episodes. I would love to see. Uh, she's probably the only one that comes to my mind right now who I'm like, I'm curious of like what else she's doing besides what's being shown. That's but a thing. I, I think it's a, it's a different era, man. Everything's changed. And I think the, the, the game intensity has changed. And I think the showman's direction has changed. Yeah. Everything. It's the whole show from top to bottom is just, it's completely different, man. The I gamers aren't why, gamers anymore. Is it everywhere is, but that's the same probably in the U S too, right? Like oh, the US, even, that's happened yeah. to the, it's even, even worse. worse. It's even yeah. worse, bud. 
the U.S. is in a bad spot. I think the Canadian one, I just I just can't enjoy it like I used to, man. I just can't because, like, perfect example, what we said, the Matt and Lexus showmans. I mean, we had nothing from them. We had literally, there's nothing. nothing. We didn't see anything at all. Nothing. And then he's out and the door, and I then think, it's, it's the most and, we see. And then I think is that is that now, as a past player, I think, is that a sewer kind of on, like, like could Big Brother Production have, like, shown them more? Like, or did they kind of... Put, like just leave them in that like well here they are showmance that's it that's their storyline now which but is also weird. it's like you production uses what you give them too that's true that's yeah right? i i see I, I do see that i see that production uses what you give them i think but i also think some people's games are harder to show than others some people have flashier games like if you for sure the whole show is is spicy v and uh and uh i don't know avery or kayla whatever. they're just always talking the same conversation 10 times an episode but same. it's like they it, their game is is easier to show on tv where i feel like you know uh, i don't know who else is game. like tola we don't see tola what, what the hell is he doing you know like i'm sure he's doing a really I, good I job i'd love to see it yeah yeah i think he's doing a good job i don't but i don't know what he's doing we don't see it right but he's doing something right he's in really good with the, with the one side i mean he seems to be doing okay but we don't know we have no idea so i feel like um even it, like I just I feel like they're really pushing the V and and her side uh, just with everything with the with the with the feeds or the the show whatever it is, um, very 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 heavily. Now I want to say I know you're a big Bailey fan. I'm a big now. I me and me and Bales go back. Bales was one of the first people that I met in Toronto. She was actually working at the warehouse uh, in Toronto. And after, uh, after I was on big brother, you know, I spent a lot of time in the old warehouse in Toronto <laughs> tying one on there. Uh, so me and Bailey got acquainted. I know all of her friends, uh, from Toronto, we have all mutual friends. Um, I was into Bailey, man. Like when I first laid eyes on Bailey and she was bartending that bar, I was like, yo, like that's, that's my girl. So I told her, like, I used to tell her all the time, I was like, I'm going to marry you someday. <laughs> like someday I was like, we're a hundred percent getting married. Now she was, she she brushed it off every single time. But <laughs> if you don't know John, this guy's got game, man. The girls love him, Bob. It's a weird thing, dude. <laughs> I'm telling you, this guy's got game. You might, like I'm telling you right now, if this guy can wheel, okay? John, <laughs> he's got game, but the girls love him. Like love girls him. like laughing, chat. Girls like laughing. News flash for the boys out there. Yeah. Girls love to laugh. Yeah, they do. And he's got that personality, man. He's got that charm. You know what I mean? All the girls in here right now, they're fanning themselves. They're like, oh, my God, John, you know? <laughs> yeah. They love so him. So, Bailey, I think Bailey, the thing I love about Bailey is Bailey wants to play. Bailey yes. wants to play. Bailey wants to make moves. Bailey, I wish, I wish Bailey reached out to me. <laughs> Before she went on Big I'm Brother. surprised she wouldn't. And and it's I'm funny. I'm mind boggled. Because same with Todd didn't tell Pike. And, so weird, dude. It's so weird, man. If if because like because like I get it. Because people on my season were like, oh yeah, like I was so scared because Big Brother was like making like million dollar lawsuits. And I was like million dollar lawsuits. I have negative eight thousand dollars to my name. <laughs> I'm going to tell everyone, bro, when I, the, the minute they responded to my initial interview, I told everyone I saw that I was going on Big Brother. Did you? Everyone. Every See, single I, person I met. He's walking down the street with a sign and everything. Oh God, like, I'm going on Big Brother. People loved it, too. <laughs> I, I just thought, like, I was like, like, I could maybe, like, nobody. But the thing is, is, like, it is scary. But it's crazy. The last message I sent to Bailey was probably a she must have been pretty deep into the process that time and i said something about like oh um i haven't watched in a little while i'm just waiting to watch bailey on season 12 and that was my last message to bailey oh shit isn't that crazy that is pretty sick so i i, I gotta tell you because i'm for me okay i know you're a you're a big bailey fan that's your girl that's your friend you know i i get it i would love because like you said she to me she's the only one left that's willing to play and I want yes. to cheer for her. Like, I really, really do. Uh, I just, fuck, man. I have a hard time connecting with her, man. I think on the outside, we'd be friends. Her and I would be you, friends. Yeah, you guys would vibe. You guys would vibe oh, big time. A <laughs> hundred. I feel like her yeah. and I would be yeah. would be tight. I just need to, I need her. I, I, I need something to switch in there for me, man. I need something to switch it's, in there. And the thing for me is, too, like, she's, what's, the one thing that I will say that's bothered me about Bailey's game is they have pretty much, showed her at multiple times that the girls lines or whatever that 
they don't give a fuck about her. Right. She's there solely for a number. They're going to string her as long as long as they need them. That's how the girls view Bailey. There comes a point in the game where Bailey is going to have to start realizing that, wait a second, I'm bottom of the pack here. In the alliance right now, I'm bottom of the pack. She needs to start going to Todd. She needs to start going. She needs to start assimilating like a, you know what? I wouldn't even, I wouldn't even mind if she goes to Anthony and is like, you know what? Here's what's been going on. I want to come over to your kind of side and completely flip the game. I just, here's the thing. I, does she, I think she wants Anthony out the most. She she does because I because she yeah she yeah <laughs> she does she does and I think that's I think that's a wrong move because I think her and Anthony could and sh- and should work together but they are also I think the two biggest egos in the house yeah oh for sure Bailey for sure Anthony. for sure for sure so for sure. I don't think in the house that's gonna be a tough one someone's gonna have to let that ego down in order to right to work together so, but it's uh where do you think she sits yeah. right now like you're saying you think she sits I, I think she's at the bottom of see the thing with bailey i want her to st- I, th- th- this is the thing i do want her in there because i think she's the only one there willing to play to make the move that needs to happen like todd i mean maybe todd too actually todd todd i could see tola i don't know goose like don't even get me started on that guy like don't even get me started <laughs> on goose fuck Goose, Goose made twenty thousand dollars. I hope. Thank you. That's what I. Thought. He's literally. I, I hope so. He's a walking hundred thousand dollar check. Everyone should bring him to the end. Like if he, I would, he's yeah. He's second place. He's one hundred percent. He's a walking ATM right now for a hundred thousand dollars. Whoever brings him there, whoever can carry him to the end, is taking that hundred thousand dollars with them. And you don't even need to really carry him. Like it's, no, it's, he's just gonna. He's just gonna yeah. be there. Yeah, <laughs> that's what I say to everybody, man. The guy is literally in the final two already. Like we used to say that to Karen in season five. I used to tell oh, her yeah. that to her face. I would say it to her face. I'm like, Karen, you already won twenty grand. You every single person's house has taken you. Like everybody. You, you can know? tell once it gets halfway through the season. Like you know. Yeah, pretty much who's getting second unless something goes terribly right. like sideways. Right. But it's like you every and everybody knows like it's like a, it's oh, like yeah. everybody knows. And usually the only person that doesn't know is them. They always think Damn, they're the target. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? it's, it's but all, it's, it's, it's the best. It's the best when they think that they're like, you know what I mean? Like, like in the mix, but they're just nowhere near the mix. Like, right. Nowhere near it. Right. So it's uh, but but it's yeah. Bailey needs Bailey cannot continue to be to be dragged along with the girls i think the thing with me is bailey's bailey's talk of the game i'm a big fan of um like what she what she wants to do and her her premise of how she wants to play the game i like how she's been playing the game so far needs to change big in time. order for her in in order for her to go deep yeah, I, th- I think she has to do something. She has to, there has to be something to switch. I think her and Todd and whoever. I mean, whoever the next person, maybe Goose. I what don't know who it is. What does she do if she wins HOH? I think she takes Anthony. She, she does, right? I, I, think, I, then, per- I don't know. Or Tola. Either Tola or Anthony. Yeah. Why, is it, why is it why I don't want Tola out? Let, let Tola chill for a minute, bro. I, I, I don't know, man. Like, here, this is my big thing. Like, like Bailey hates Tola, man. Like, so what is, weird. That's what I, it is so weird. Like, what happened? Can we time out one second here, John? Oh, yeah, we freaking can. Whoa, yo, you want to get this one right here? Say what's up to Wolfman. It's $17.99, baby. Coming in with the 10 pack of tier one subs to Catonius, Angel, Baby, Noel, Road, Jimmy, 21, Twitch for Laura, Diagro, We Millie B, Albatross, 71, Coltron, 2, 2, 5, Kush Queen, 710, Atlantis, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5. Fuck, man. You know, I'm just hiring John. Wolf, my brother, man. Thank you so much, guys. Let's get those let's goes in the let's chat. Go, Show that love. Let's go. And yo, uh, Stone Cutter, Stone Cutter. Thank you so much. Hold on, let's write that down, guys. We are giving away my season five veto chip, guys. And just like that, you entered ten times, Wolf. And Stone Cutter entered once. Oh shit! Look at this guy. 
Look at John coming in with a big old sack of his, man. I have no idea what's in here, my dude. Is it dirty underwear? For sure, it's this dirty been, underwear. This has been in my. I'm at my parents' house right now. I uh, just dropped my dog off. So I have some trips and stuff uh, for the next couple months. Um, but this has been in my parents' house for how long have I been? Ten years. Dirty underwear, hundred. What do we got? I have no idea what this is. That's your name, John. Oh, so it is. <laughs> <laughs> I we love him. It. He's my fave. John, I don't give a fuck. I'm gonna say it right now. John, you're my favorite, man. I don't give a fuck. I'm saying it to everybody. I right love now. you, man. I love you, brother. This was this was the my Harley teddy bear they put in my HOH basket. That's sick. That's your name as well. This is the sock puppet. Do you remember the sock puppet <laughs> episode? I don't even, meta. dude. Put the sock away. I don't even know. Want to know what you do with that Look, thing? This wasn't even part of the bag. Sorry, guys. I don't even <laughs> want to know. Why is it so stiff? It's like it, it, it's, you it's can like, snap that in half, bro. So we. This was like this was a a challenge we had to do where we had to make socks and then we had to pretend we were the other person and only talk as the other person. <laughs> yeah, I remember that. Hours. I remember what you did with it then. What you do with it now is a different story. But we'll, we'll get there. Yes, I remember this. Yes. What? Yes. That is sick, Bro, this bud. is like a blast from the past, dude. That is sick, bud. I see that oh, picture. What's that picture, John? Oh, shit. We did tours, baby. We was touring. <laughs> oh, my God. Big Brother flashcards. Did you steal those? Yeah. Which one is it? The one where you did the the drinking thing? Uh, this is the Easter egg hunt. Congratulations, John! Congratulations on finding the most e eggs in Big Brother's Easter egg hunt. As a reward, please enjoy the five items you placed on your wish list. Bottoms up, Big Brother Canada. Oh shit! Bruno, what, I'm gonna pick something to give away here, though. Give me a second so we can give two things away. This guy wants you want to give stuff away. Yeah, why not? I've never, I don't use, I don't use this stuff, buddy. Well, there you go, chat. Let's get some let's goes in the chat for our boy John. Oh, oh that is definitely not part of Big Brother. Yo, put these were the handcuffs that me and Netta got handcuffed together for the wine and fondue. Night. You don't, you don't need to go deeper in that story, buddy. We could just keep it I at can't that. Give these away though, because they've, uh, they've, they've, uh, they've, they've, yeah, uh, but yeah, they have DNA on them. <laughs> we'll just leave it like that. Even years. Let's let's do uh here. Let's give a maybe we can give away uh maybe we can give away this one. Is that what you want to do? Maybe. Whatever you want, man. I mean, there's no pressure. John said we can't. There's. Oh, this is this is. I can't give away that either. Okay, now I'm down memory lane. Let me decide for a listen, second here, dude. There's no. You, we, we could. You don't have to decide none of this now. You don't have to decide none of this. We don't was, listen. Bruno, I was fully going to be like, open this bag and be like, I will give away anything in here. And then just memory lane. Yeah, I like, dude, I've been there. Look, dude, I'm giving away my season five veto chip. This right here is my actual one. This is season five veto chip, oh, baby. Oh, that's insane. Yeah, man. I'm like, I'm attached to it. You know? Yo, is that my boy? Yo, Dennis from BB Can 12 is in the chat. No, not. Hold on one sec. John. Dennis, yo, guys, let's get some love for Dennis in the chat right now. Get a big shout out for Dennis. We love him. Dennis, show those Team Dennis emotes in the chat right now. Dennis is my favorite. I love Dennis. I love Dennis. Look, look at the chat. We got Team Dennis emotes, man. Wait. wait oh, what? you're not on kick. Oh, God. So you can't see the kick chat. Yeah. Hold we, on. How do I get over We're, we're kick Why heavy my, now. My basement got hot for some reason. I don't even know what happened here. Yeah, it's what's the that sock? You you memories that sock, <laughs> buddy. You're gonna use that tonight for Wait, sure. Wait, the camera's from here up, right? The yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that sock's coming out of retirement, baby. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. man, dude, it's always I'm good chat when you fuck, man. Uh, dude, I love so let's keep chatting. Up. Let's keep chatting. I know we get a little sidetracked, man. You know when the boys get together, you get all you know. Um, yeah. Okay, so you're I talking. Can't the finale one that actually makes me sad. The first year John comes in like nine years, and you're not coming. I know, man. I know. So, I just I'm like I'm literally. I want to say I'm fifty fifty, but I'm probably more like sixty forty not going. Maybe like seventy three. I was talking to to uh, to Bobby today too, and I don't know. Man. Uh, we'll see. I it's, also can't wait to see Bobby and God, though. Like, I can't wait. The thing for me, it's like, yeah. I love that it's in Toronto because I'm not going to go to many of the events, I wouldn't say. I think like, it's all in Toronto. Rather, 
I'd probably rather get just like the, a couple of the boys together and do some dinners and shit. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, that's that's all I want. Yeah, same here. I'm over. I'm over the the viewing parties and the. <laughs> yeah, like last. Well, last year was the. So I used to go up for like a week. You know, back in the day, I used to go up for the week, and then you know we hang out in Toronto for a while. We do whatever. And, you know, last year I went up for the night before finale and then finale day, and then I was gone. That was it. I was gone. I was there for two days. And then this That's year I don't even know. Yeah, yeah quick things, man. The quick yeah, things, yeah. man. You know what I mean? But we'll see. Uh, John looks like he's in shape. Yeah, man. He's getting ready. He's going back, baby. Who said that? What? You guys, who said that? Are you guys trolling? You guys making fat jokes in chat? No, man. You're in shape. Are you not in shape? No, bro. Come on. Well, I'm getting there, but like, not yet. You look well. You look. I mean, you know, you look better to me. You look good. Hey, Bruno. Thank you. Well, you know what? It's not hard. I went from like I got up to like 280 pounds. I was just 20. eating cheeseburgers and drinking beer. Bud, tell me, man. I got to two. I think it was like 220, man. And I always walked around at 180, and I felt oh, yeah. it, man. I I'm like felt. a 230. I'm down to 240 Ooh. now, so I got 10 pounds to go. But like, man, oh man, like that 40 pounds off feels like a whole oh, new human. Dude, I can see, <laughs> I can see my pecker again, man. It's nice. Yeah, I'll, I know. Yeah, man, it's a nice feeling. But I'll tell you Mom something. Was working and everything, like it was terrible. <laughs> yeah, it was uh, when I when I was at my heaviest. I was, I just, man, it was rough. And then I was like, yo, I can't do this anymore. I would go to the gym and do my thing and blah blah blah. And I'm getting oh, yeah. back there, man. We'll see. We'll see you one know, day man. what happens. I was looking at that friggin' Twitter. I was looking at Twitter when you posted you were going live, and I was like, damn, now that's a photo. That's like a model photo. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> model, buddy. That's what it looks like. Slow down, John. Slow down. <laughs> he said, he said, he said, model. Look at the model. Bro, it's. Uh... You got like this, the model squint, too. Do I have a smirk? I this think it looks like. Ready? Watch. This is you. Ready? That's a model. That's, that's a model. Like. Told you, that's what you look like. See, Corey knows. Shit, Corey that's a knows. model. Because for me, I think the squint. I think it's. I don't know. Is it my eyelash? I got long eyelashes. It always looks like my eyes are closed. It's just my eyelashes are long. Look. I think girls love that though. Girls love long eyelashes on dudes. Yeah, they're just long. They're thick. What do you want me to tell you, man? I can't. Uh, can't control it. With thick dudes doing thick things. <laughs> <laughs> always. <laughs> Uh, we do have Dennis in the chat, guys, from BBCan12. I want to uh, give a big shout-out to, to Dennis. So, yeah, you, you can't see the kick chat, John. I can't. I'm going to try to get it over there now. Hold oh, on. bud. Did you watch, uh, did you watch uh, Traders Canada? Uh, yeah, I did, actually. Did you like it? I didn't mind it. Didn't mind it? Are you going on season two? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice, man. Yo, me too, bud. What? Final Yo, two, okay, final two right here. You see it here first, <laughs> chat. It. I love it. Oh, there you go. Which one is who's uh I see Marsha. I see Tim over there. What's up, everyone? Dennis, Yo. there's Dennis. There's Dennis. And Ori oh, leveled. Dennis? Okay, we gotta take Kate. Hey, John, say what's up to Ori. He leveled up to 42. That's I think he's the highest level in the chat. 42, Ori. That's that's still younger than Bruno. <laughs> oh, this fucking guy. <laughs> what's up, guy? What's up? Bro, this guy. <laughs> <laughs> You know what's funny though? How old do you, do you know how old I am? Thirty-seven. Thirty-eight. Forty. Forty-one? Forty-one? Whoa, why you gotta say it like that, man? Well, you look you still look like a model. Oh I'm my god. I'm at thirty-four or thirty-three, I can't remember. Holy I'm going shit, he said hill. Fast. He said 41 like I was ready, like I was on my deathbed. And you're like, dude, you have two years left. GG's, bro. It was a good life. <laughs> it was a good life. <laughs> he said 41 like I have like I have like months to live. <laughs> he said, yeah. Yeah. I'm telling you, man. Yeah, 41. I turned 41 yesterday, man. It's crazy. It's crazy. Man, man. that is insane, bro. I the know. ride, man. The life ride. I wouldn't have guessed 41, man. I would have I would have lost money there. I feel I feel oh, 141 awesome, sometimes, but you know it's I, my mind is it's my mind is good. It's the body, man. Fuck, man. Bro, the mind is what the mind is what age is. The yeah. mind is what age is. Yeah, man. Well, technically, your body stops eventually, but you know what I mean. <laughs> <laughs> the mind is fresh, man. The mind's still got. I think, and anyway, maybe I'm losing it. I don't know. So uh, <laughs> let's talk. Let's talk some uh, BB can. So we got. Uh, first of all, I was Team Dennis. That's true. I was Team Dennis in the chat. We even have Team Dennis emotes. I Me picked too. him in my Dennis pool. was the one. Dennis was the one who I thought had uh, the same intensity uh, as Bailey, 
um, but also the game wherewithal to actually make it happen. Yeah, and he just it the it sucks. Like it sucks even talking about it. Like because obviously it's, it was the shittiest thing to go through. I can imagine for Dennis uh, to get blindsided like that by fucking uh, one of your friends in the house or whatever. Um, but that was uh, I really, really, really wanted to see Dennis cook. Like all my tweets were like, "Let this fucking guy cook!" I was so excited, man. I was a big, big fan. Uh, still, I shouldn't say was. I am a, still a big fan of Dennis. I was all for Team Dennis, and uh, yeah, to, to go out like that, man, that would be uh, so painful, dude. Like, I think for me, it's like it's not even like it must. It must be hard for Dennis to process because. It's not even something you can look back and be like, well, at least I can respect it as a game move. You right. know what I mean? It's it's like, no, it's like it's like Vivi, this this move doesn't make sense any way you spin it. Like no way for either one of us. Right. So that's what that's what I kind of feel for the most. I think it'd be so much easier to handle if it was like a blind side where it was like, oh fuck, like yeah, what the other side got me, you know what I mean? Not like just the most random way ever. You know, it's like you, he saves Vivek, <laughs> and then Vivek wins HOH, and it's like, realistically, Dennis should be like, hey, man, we won. Like, that's his boy, man. It's like, yo, yeah, it's we're good. HOH pretty much. Is what 100%. <laughs> you know, it's like, we won this week. You know, I'm safe. I don't got to worry about anything, you know? And then it's like, sorry, bud, you're, you're, you're on the block. And it's like, what, what do you God, mean? Like, then, that's not even like just... an option. An instant car, like an instant karma, like not even like a, a week's wait. Like it was just a sh- Vivek just goes straight after. Like it is that episode made me realize that I, I, I love seeing people get rocked. Like when I watch reality TV, I watch it for people to get fucking destroyed. Like that yeah. makes me happy. I love seeing that. This was the first time. With the Dennis and the Vivek, where I felt just sad for the whole situation. Like, the whole thing just, like, made me sad. Like, even, like, looking at Vivek's eyes, like, you could see Vivek's eyes the minute when he was like, oh. Oh. I was like, god damn. That was bad, yeah. Dennis, it was delicious, to be honest. (laughs) It was delicious. I got to tell you, man, it was was so painful to watch. Uh, Man, like... Like you say, I agree with you. It's like you love to see these big train wrecks happen, and yeah, but this just wasn't it. You know, it's like it wasn't. It was a train wreck, but it just wasn't it. It wasn't an enjoyable yeah. one. You know, which is yeah. Just... It was like it was like. I, I, I'm trying to think of a, a reasonable. Like, let me put it this way: you your move at the end with with Netta, that's that's the right move the right time necessary everything is is the check the bar check check the box it's good that's your ally but you do it to win this is week what three and the guy yeah yeah yeah. and the guy's doing it and there's no boxes to check it's just like should i do this no does this need to happen no is this guy coming for me no should i put him on the block is it a a testament to is it a testament to dougie being able to absolutely be vivek like be his mind that hoh or is it a testament that vivek probably wasn't the best big brother player and was very 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 easily manipulated what do Listen, you think what do you think uh dennis yeah dennis you can answer that in the chat right there my opinion and i'll say my opinion here in a second first i want to say th- big shout out to bondo thank you yo john bondo hooked you up with a sub what where on kick man Bondo, this is, I think this is my first ever kick sub. You hear that, Bondo? You hear that? Bondo? He always remembers his first. Bondo loves bondage for sure. You know what? He does. I think he, yeah, you're into that, eh, Bondo? I'm going to say yes. I'm just going to say yes for him. Oh, Bondo. I'm going to say yes. Bondo, thank you so much. And again, we are giving away the BB Can 5 Vito Chip. Bondo, you already know you're in the entry. I see you, baby, and I appreciate it. Thank you, buddy. Thank that's you. really cool for a fan, like for a Big Brother fans, dude. That's a cool piece of memorabilia. Something that was inside the house, like that's cool. Yeah, it's a sick. It's sick. I, I agree. I think it's a pretty sick giveaway. I think it's pretty awesome. Uh, yeah, man, it's cool. Like I told you, know, we're gonna give it away. Someone here is gonna Hell win it, yeah. so it's pretty sick. Um, yeah. Sick. So thank you again, Bondo, for hooking up, John. We appreciate you. Already know. 
And uh, yeah, the thing with Vivek, so where did, did Dennis answer that? Uh, we're gonna wait. I want to see Dennis's answer uh, for what he says on that. For me personally, I, I think Vivek's just a really bad player. I got to be very honest with you. It doesn't matter. In my my personal opinion, it doesn't matter what people tell you. Like if you're in the house, if I'm in the house, I'll just use season three as an example. If I'm HOH and someone's trying to convince me to get rid of you know Bobby or Godfrey, it's never gonna happen. Like I don't care what yeah. their op- what their offer is, what their pitch is. What I, I don't care. It's not gonna happen. Like th- there's nobody, nobody's gonna convince me to get out one of my pe- my best friend. You know what I mean? It's just not gonna happen. So. So to see that this guy was just so easily, you know, uh, manipulated to do this, and then he was at the bottom of the of the food chain immediately. The second Dennis goes on the block, Vivek goes, you know, he's it's he's not. on the bottom of the food chain. It and was it was almost like it was almost like it was almost like getting him to do a job, and then they literally took him out behind the shed and was like, "Thank you for your service." A hundred percent. That's that, that's what I was. I, I literally not those exact words, but I was like, "That's what they did. They used them once they were done with them. They don't need them anymore." They were laughing at Vivek behind his back. The, they're like, "I can't believe he just did that. Like, how how did he do that?" You know. So he is just bad, and I, and I think they knew it, and it's just it's unfortunate uh, that you know Dennis was the the the, the I don't want to say victim of it, but like the outcome uh, of 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 Vivek's. Uh, bad gameplay is the outcome is you know Dennis is the one that goes home and and I like this he's the, literally and I'm not saying that just because he's in the chat uh, he is literally one of the people that was playing the game to make the moves and a lot of these people like let's be honest man like Goose forget about it Lexus what are you doing Matt what who? Yeah. you know what I mean like they're all this it's just they're, they're, nobody's doing anything like what are Dennis they doing 100 100 percent my like I would love to see Big Brother do like a second chance season. That would be so sick. Dennis would 100% be my number one person who I would want to see uh, I, in that season. I want to see a season where people just want to play. Like, they yeah, don't care do. about followers. They don't give a shit about – they just – they love the game, and they're there to play, not to I put don't, on a show. I don't, I don't think this – I don't like this friggin' – I don't – I don't think this half and half or fucking yeah, I don't I agree. 17. Like I just, I just don't th- also chat. I am all in as well in a poker game right now. If we lose this, we're out. If we win, like we have a pretty good stack <laughs> and a good chance. All right. We won. So we have a good chance. Bruno, Let's we've go been with. grinding, bro. My company has this leaderboard that I've been chasing for the last six days. We've streamed almost 60 hours in the last six days, chasing these friggin' leaderboards, dude. There's two leaderboards, to top five on both get paid. I'm sixth in one, seventh in the other. Oh, no, that's not <laughs> so enough, tomorrow, man. It all comes down to tomorrow. Uh, but what I was saying, what I was saying too uh, with Dennis, um, I saw someone in chat say, like, yo, like Dennis, like, you know, you got to move on, like get over it, like just a game. Wait, who I've said that? Out, I've been out of big, but oh, someone was being just kind. You know what I mean? Like oh, just okay, you know, okay, offering okay, okay. some, right? Offering some like advice. And you know what? As so, with someone looking it, it's good advice. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's good life advice. You know, take everything, move, you know, yeah. you move on, you do blah, blah, blah. I won. I won the fucking game. There no, are didn't. still, there are still things that I think about from when I was in Big Brother that people would have done to me or would have like said something that I realized after wasn't true. And that's still in my mind now. And I didn't go through anything fucking traumatic like Dennis did. So yes, eventually everyone has to move on for sure. But it's definitely something that's not easy coming out of that house to, to let things just slide like, you know, water off a duck's balls. Right off the bag. And that's what I, I that's what I always say. Like, especially when you come out, there's people, and, and I'm glad you said that because there's people I know from like season three that are still like, fuck, they can't shake some shit. You know what I mean? Oh yeah. It's it's I know it sounds crazy to say, but it's true, man. Like some of the shit, like you close your eyes and you replay shit in your head. Like it some Therapy, shit's burned. Bro. I, yeah. I I I did I did years of I found a sick therapist and I did years. <laughs> it's, it's a thing, man. I, I always I always talk about it with the chat. I say, like, these people come out and they're fucked. Like they are fucked. so messed up. You know what I mean? It's it's just the most and and everyone for different reasons too. Whether you go earlier, later, get blindsided, just go out on your own fuck up. Your your wheels are turning about every single second in that house for oh, yeah. so long. Yeah. It's sorry, uh, Dennis. It's gonna, sorry, I'm really sorry. <laughs> sorry, Dennis. You'll be fine. Minute, you'll, Dennis. <laughs> you're fine. You'll be fine. You know what, Dennis? You'll you'll be fine. 
they were, was, we're telling him like Dennis. it's a long road. It was easy, Dennis. You'll be you'll be fine next yeah, week, Dennis. Yeah, yeah. You just just take a nap, <laughs> sleep it off. You'll be fine. Go for a walk. You'll be fine. <laughs> no, it's uh, uh, but no. I mean, it is. You know, I just all jokes aside. But yeah, it, 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 I remember the, my biggest thing for me. I'll tell you right now. For me, my biggest thing was when I came out on. I think it was yeah, season three. It was the lights, man. Like when I closed my eyes, like the lights, the camera, the cheering of the crowd. It was like I couldn't close my eyes. It, it, like every time I'd lay down in bed to go to bed, all I could hear is the cheering. All I could see was the oh, lights, the flashes. Nuts. I couldn't sleep, man. I couldn't sleep for that's what it was. It was just I'd always hear the cheer of the crowd, and, and I couldn't get, I couldn't shake it. That was that was my thing for me personally. But I, you that's know, I, so crazy, uh, Lieutenant. Also, it's the uh, it's a thirty one fifty turbo. I busted the one hundred nine. Just so come all on, my chat John, knows. do better, man. <laughs> I know, bro. It's like I needed that one hundred nine too. <laughs> <laughs> I love needed this guy. it. He's a beaut, man. It's a beaut. Yeah. So I mean, like I said, I think I think De- Dennis's uh, situation was unfortunate. What did you think of the the veto, the the executive veto? What are your thoughts on the whole thing? Uh, I think I'm fucking mind boggled that the newbies, as a vote, let Spicy B get the sp- Spicy V get the executive veto. That is mind boggling to me, like mind boggling. Yeah. It doesn't yeah. make any sense. It was nuts. I couldn't. I couldn't believe it when it happened. Um, the executive veto, I think, was something that was put in the game um, at a time where I think the intention was to shake things up. I I agree because you know I like don't the... think it was utilized as was intended. Put there. Well, look at the first five thing, right? You know all about that. Oh, well, damn right I do. Canada, we love you, Canada. <laughs> yeah, you know more than better than us, you know. But yeah, I know, yeah. I know what you know. Oh, it was like it was yeah. like it's a thing because it's like they everything was going wrong. Everything was going wrong for me, Netta, everyone except the first five. They were running, running house. No TV show wants to have anybody dominating. From the start, 100%. can Big Brother alter? Can Big Brother change the course of the game by sticking their hand in and just doing it? No, they can't. They can't come in and make you do this, make you do that, make you go against it. They cannot do that. When we were almost down and out and we were on the wrong side, I think that production probably knew that Canada wasn't going to be too pleased with the first five and probably we're going to have like my Netta's Adele's back. Um, so it was convenient timing. And I think that it was the, the purpose of that HOH was definitely utilized to its fullest. I think, I don't know for I don't know what happened. I don't know anything, but I, all I know is, uh, yeah, I think exactly production knows that, like you said, they don't want one group to just come in and just wipe the season. What, what fun is that? You know, we saw that in what season seven or whatever it is. And uh, I mean, that's one of the most boring seasons, one of the greatest alliances with the with the the pretty boys, but absolutely just boring. You know what I mean? Uh, this yes. year, I agree with you. I think with the secret, the the executive veto, I don't think they think they did. I don't think they thought it was going to end up like that. I thought they thought nope. something different was going to happen. What did you think Todd was going to do with it? When he, he sorry, for sure what? When when V used it on Todd, what do you think Todd should have done with it? Like he took out Vivek, right? I think he probably should have took could should have taken a shot. I think he should have taken. Uh, a shot. I think it was it was the perfect it was a perfect opportunity if you wanted to take a shot at Anthony. It was on a silver platter. That was you. the time. That's the time because a guy like silver Anthony, platter. you can't give him a couple days to cook. You can't. No. It's like you put can't. him on the block. Two minutes later, he's out the door. Who cares? Problem solved. See you later. Don't have to deal with it. Go home. You know. But yep. that was their chance. But again, you and have a guy like, like, and it's like when Anthony, when Anthony, when you are voting to evict Anthony in that house or anyone else, you're no matter what going to have a real hard time not putting down Anthony's name. Yeah, hundred. Should we be allowed in the Big Brother Canada house? One hundred percent. If they get alcohol, they should one hundred percent get weed too. There you go. That's what I think. Get him high all the time. Hell yeah. That was, oh, that's another thing I was going to mention too. The episode a couple nights ago when you know, they had some drinks and everyone, everything was getting a little crazy having fun. I loved watching that. Me as one, a past player, I know how crazy those nights get. Oh, I know yeah. how loose people's lips get. Yes. I know that alliances are made that should not be made. People say things they should not say. 
-hmm. I think that is a huge element of Big Brother Canada that is great, not only for the fans, but for the game dysfunction as well. They never show the drink. Do they show the drinking nights on the feeds or anything? No, huh? They did with us. We they used to we used to we used to be wilding, bro. Yeah, they used to every, give us alcohol, man, like every third night. Like it was every third or fourth. Like we drank a lot. Yeah, because of you guys. Season. Because of you guys, yeah. we barely we got it like twice. That we had a sense. beer. Yeah, yeah. We had a beer sponsor on season three. Bose was the was the sponsor. Yeah. But they had boxes and boxes in jury, but in the show, we had it like twice. But well, there were there were times when we had to we had to like put back filming like a veto meeting or something like that because Netta got too shit faced and couldn't go to the meeting. No, it's like, it, was, it was like, Bro, what is going Karen, on here? Karen was done, dude. Like she was literally sleeping on the couch, and they're like, Karen, you got to get up. We got to do the ceremony. <laughs> she was like, no. She was sleeping on. She was out, dude. She was gone. She was KO'd. She was KO'd. Like game over. <laughs> They had to the literally snack, postpone bro. the veto meeting. The first night we had like Kenny and Andrew like puking, like <laughs> puking up. Like it was, it was insane, man. Dude, we, every time we drink, every time there was drinks in the house, someone was throwing up. Every time, every time. That's, Fucking, that's so every crazy. time someone's just puking up, man. Every time it was crazy in the house because it was like I used to at that time. Now right now, like I'm I'm back to like a lightweight. Like I don't I don't drink like too much anymore at all. But back then I was drinking, drinking. In that house, I would have like half a bottle of like that beer, half a bottle of the big beer, and I'd feel it. Like oh, it was you... so weird drinking in that house. I got drunk so fast. Yeah, it was. Uh, it was. Yeah, in that house, you definitely feel it. And that was. And I, yeah. I like that point you made where it's like you say, um, you know, that's where alliances are made. People say things they shouldn't say. People have loose lips. Yeah, hundred percent, hundred percent. And like I, for me, I'm not like a big drinker out, out of the house. I'll drink, you know, socially when we go and shit like that. But it's like, I would just give up my drinks, man. Like, give it to, you know, someone I wanted to, you know, have a few extra drinks. You just give it to them. Arlie did the same thing. Yeah, you just give it to them. Let them drink. You sit and chat with them. They're going to start spilling stuff. And and I, I don't think they show it on the feed. I don't know if they do. I don't think they show the drinking nights on the feeds anymore. But th they would tell you everything. Like, you literally, anything everything. you needed to know, man, it was there. Bro, I was bad at that, too. I remember every single morning after we drank... I had to do damage control because I did something or said something stupid when I was drinking. I'll never forget. Arlie took me to the have not room after one night. We were, we all were just getting slaughtered at that point. Arlie wasn't apparently cause he was just faking being drunk. And I was like, you the fuck. So anyways, Arlie pulls me into the have not room the morning after, like I was hammered and I was so hung over. And he's like, yo, yo, you remember the Alliance we made last night, right? I had no recollection of making an alliance at all. Zero. So I was like, I was like, yeah, yeah, no, for sure. Before I had my words out, he was like, who else was it with? And I was like, <laughs> fuck, bro. Like, I can't, I can't remember that alliance. But he goes, he goes, John, he goes, if we're working together, I need you to remember these simple things. So I was like, okay, from now on, I'll remember what alliances I'm in. <laughs> yeah, man. Disaster. John's a disaster, but we love it. You know, so brutal. Amazing. Yeah. It's, it was uh, like even brutal at the time when I got shit faced and blew up Netta's game for throwing out the condiments. I remember like, I should that. should have never done that. Like, that was so, like, sketchy. I remember that. Yeah. So stupid. Yeah. She was mad. That's the way it goes. Mad mad but then hey but then old j parts kept winning comps and no one could do anything about it that's right baby you know gotta win here gotta win there you know bop, bop, bop. see you later we win that's it just an easy job no big up, deal tight, damn just get an in easy get dub. out get just in easy. get out get out of debt get in get out of debt get out yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right so, so what does bailey have to do now, now man what is what is what is bailey's path i want to know your, your take on bailey's path does she How's take out anthony does she work with anthony does she work with the girls what does she got to do I would work. I would try to work with Anthony, but I don't think either of their egos are going to allow it. Mm -hmm. uh, I think she needs to start assembling a smaller group within the girls that does not include Spicy. And I think the weak link there right now, it seems from the last thing I saw, might be Kayla, maybe. Yeah, I feel like they're getting annoyed with her a little bit, no? That's what know. I'm saying. So if I was Bailey and I knew that the girls were getting annoyed at Kayla, they've said some things to Bailey about Kayla. Like I've seen those clips on Twitter. 
if I was Bailey, I would probably start getting a lot closer with Kayla. I would start getting a lot closer with Todd. I would I would stop my weird little thing she has with Tola. I would yeah, I would stop she- that. Try to reel him in. So bizarre. Tola's I don't, not I don't done get anything. It. I don't get it. I don't so know what happened. She needs she needs to do kind of what we did in my season and form like a like an outcast kind of sloppy seconds alliance that is outside of the big girls alliance. She's also she also needs to get lucky and hope that the uh that the that the Kayla Avery spicy um alliance really breaks apart. And I think that might take a little bit of luck as well. Um, but Bailey's not going to get lucky. She's going to have to win, and she's going to have to make moves that are not in her head right now because she's so blinded by, I think, girls, 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 girls. Yeah. That's, that's my thing, man. Like I, I'm a firm believer myself. I'm a firm believer. You go in the house, and you vibe with who you vibe with, and that's it. Yep. It yep. doesn't matter if you have a dick or not. It doesn't matter. Who gives a yep. shit? You, know, you can't just go in and be like, oh, I'm just only going to work with the girls. Fuck the guys. That doesn't, it was so for me, weird I don't, to me I don't, to see her bio too, because that was never like it wasn't. That's that wasn't really like yes, yes. Bailey is a big advocate for women, big av- that, that's advocate fine. for, that's for fine. LGBT, right? It was great. That's fine. That was, it's, but it wasn't. I didn't realize that she would come in with the with that mindset of with what the girls and the gays is what she said, wasn't it? And yep. I was like, I was like, that's cool. But if you're gonna limit your game that's to the I'm, girls and point. the gays, yep. ah. <laughs> You're... that's my point that's my point I, like, I, I hope it works out yeah like to me it's like as soon as you say that you're literally alienating half the house yes. and you're making enemies with half the house like the, and, to you, me... and then you're blinded and then your mind right. your mind is not being able to open up to other possibilities because you're so you have your blinders on of of what you anticipate and i think it just goes to show too how important it is to be able to adapt in big brother uh-huh. even if she had even if she had that mindset going in it's not if you can't adapt and get out of it you're yeah. gonna you're gonna have a hard time Again, that's the thing. Like, whatever you do in your in your real in the real world in your life, that's great. But this is like this is Big Brother, and you can't go in just being like, "I'm not working with half the house; they're my targets." Immediately before going, it just doesn't work. Um, That was my biggest problem. That's it's never worked. Yeah, it's it's never worked, and never will work. Yeah. So it's I I think, and and again, I don't know what her problem with Toll is, but that was like day one, like day one. Uh, her and Tola, like she just oh, Tola, 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 Vivek and Tola. She just couldn't stand them, and that's and I just I don't get it. I don't get it. So, it was so weird too with the Vivek thing because didn't she get mad at him because Vivek said they were in an alliance and it showed a clip of like her actually saying they were in an alliance or some shit like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was, I was like, like I was like, man, you tripping bales. Now, what do you think about um, V and Anthony? How because the way I look at it, they're they're control like they have all the information. Everyone's going to them for the information. And they're getting everything. They know everybody's game. There's no secrets for them. That's the problem, right? So it's like they literally know everyone's next step. Before, sometimes people even know what their next step is because they know who they're aligned, who everyone's aligned with, who's targeting everybody, who are there. Like everybody's yeah. targets. They know everything. They have all the answers out in, in their book. They have a, a, an open book basically to, yeah. the, to the game. Um, Especially the first couple of weeks. The first couple oh, of weeks yeah. was a straight, perfect line of communication from one side to the other. Yeah, Both it was sides. It was, and that's the thing. And that's so here you you know V and Anthony are very good friends. They're very, very yes. good friends outside the house. So you put these two friends in the house. Me personally, my opinion, I think what they should have done is put two people in the house that do not like each other. Because 100. you know, if you're gonna put just two people, put two enemies in there that are not yep. that are gonna want a gun for each other. You know what I mean? Or like two that you know are not like close. Exactly. You know what I mean? Like one that you know are not gonna be at the hip to start no matter what. And you know what? You should be as vets anyway. Yeah. I think, I think, spicy. As each day goes on, is giving less and less to Anthony, and I think Anthony feels that every single day as well. So I think spicy is starting to make her move a little bit away from Anthony, but in doing that, Anthony's catching it immediately that that's mm-hmm. what's happening. So I think the trust between. Anthony and Spicy is completely gone. I, I think that it's definitely see with V. I don't know. Like V, I'm confused. Does she still want to work with him or not? I'm I'm very confused. Anthony, I, I don't think, think he. I think Anthony's cut it, but he's not going to show it. Right? He's just going to yes. play along and 
he's keep his cool about it, but he's going to strike when he can, or he's going to get told. Well, what's to, uh, Anthony? This is a different. This is going to be a different situation for Anthony right now. Anthony has nobody on his side like an Adam. He has nobody on his side like a Dane. Right. He doesn't have guys who Maybe are Tola. one great social game. Two mm. can win Dougie comps. Yeah, These boys not won Dougie. Comps. You know what I mean? They won him comps. So now, if Dougie has no one to win comps, who what exactly. what happens? That's, that's what that's happens. The problem. That's that's the thing. Is his numbers are dwindled down. Uh, the other side has all the numbers, the power, and the people winning the comps. So yeah. you're right. Like Dougie needs that Adam or the the Dane, and I don't know. I don't maybe Tola. I don't know, but maybe or he just does. He has to do it himself, man. There comes a point too where there comes a point too where I don't care how good you are, you gotta win some comps. You have to secure your own safety at points in that house. He's no just not. A, what. He's just not a comp guy. I mean, he says he throws them, and I'm not trying to throw shade at him, but I don't think he's throwing them. I think he just can't win. Yeah, they're then. I don't know reasonable they're fucking tough comps in their chat they look they look pretty like i watch them on tv and i'm just like i would mash that and i remember i was like uh they were all pretty fucking hard like (laughs) we were going through them they're tough they're they're tough like i because i've been an athlete my whole life man i'm like but i'll just go in there and just smoke whenever i want to smoke them all you know but like you get into them and they're they're tough then I saw then I saw freaking Kenny and I freaking saw Andrew and I seen Arley and I was like, oh, I am the most out of shape man here for sure. <laughs> yeah, it's tough, man. And they are they are tough comps. But yeah, I, I agree. I think I think Dougie needs to get some some wins under his belt. I mean, I think going in, I think giving them that one week of safety, him and V, I think that was that was smart. They needed yeah. one week. Anything more is too much. Anything less is not enough. Uh, I don't like that. I, again, I don't like that the two of them are just very good friends because you put them in. The the big advantage for them is like everyone's going in week one talking about you know you know not, they don't even know anybody's name yet. They're trying to figure out what their cat's yeah, name yeah. is and their aunt and everything you know. And then like, like with your brother or your sister or your family yeah, member. Yeah, and V and Anthony are in there just talking like, okay, that's what we're gonna do night one. Like they're already they're already eighteen steps ahead of everybody. Yeah, it, people don't even know they don't even know each other's names yet. Like trying to you know do those like you know little small talk, trying to like you know pretend like they like each. other and anthony if you're like the planning everyone's demise you know like it yeah, wasn't even the same page like, that's why i feel so bad for the for the uh for the newbies man in these casts with returning house guests it is such a different experience oh, such a different dynamic everything changes and you're at a disadvantage you're at a disadvantage because one three quarters of the house is going to love you and want to work with you and oh big brother legends you know da 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 if you're on the other side of the house, it's going to be really, really hard to maneuver if you're not in that group with the with the uh, returning house guests. Yeah, yeah. So it's a it's an interesting dynamic, one that I am very, very happy that I never had to experience as a as a player. I would have I would have really not enjoyed playing with past house guests. Yeah, I agree. I agree. I think like. Season five is a perfect, and this season too, season five is a perfect example of that, man, where it's like the new, (laughs) there's so many pros and so many cons for being a returning. There's like big pros, big cons. The pros, obviously we knew each other. We have history. We were at parties together, all that stuff, right? Cons could be our history could be bad. It could be good history, bad history. These two have all only good history. They 100% trust each other going in. You know, yes. where us, some of us, it's like, we don't know where we stand with some of these people. Well, Netta yeah. and I, going into season five, I, I said three words to Netta up to season five. And we didn't <laughs> like, I did not like her and she did not like me. Like, Netta and I, this is, going into season five, did not like each other, like, at all. And then we go into season five, ended up working together. So, but yeah, like, yeah, yeah. I'll tell you something, John. Like, legit, this is a true story. But the whole time leading in going into the season five, the whole time I'm in sequester, I'm like, I know Ned is going to be here. I didn't know for sure, but I'm yeah, just like, yeah. I'm here. Ned is here. Like, I'm, you know, you're piecing it together. Netta to me was a shoe in. Okay. And sure. I'm literally planning to get Netta out week one the whole time. It's like she's gone week one. Like, she comes in, she's going right out. And then I go in, I end up working with her. Like, what is this? That's the. Uh- you know yeah, what I mean? So it's crazy. And you know what? And Bruno, that comes back to what I'm talking about adaptation, dude, and how important that is in Big Brother. You came in with the mindset, the minute it had to change for your game, you changed it. 100%. Like she right? was. And that's uh, everything. 
I'm telling you, the whole time I'm in sequester, man, I'm thinking, yeah, and that is gone. Like she's sitting in a room, you know, eight floors over there, you know, maybe two floors above me. How did we get here? <laughs> yeah, and then next thing you know, I was gonna, you know, but then next thing you know, we're 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 in, we're in, you know. Crazy. You're right. You have to adapt, you know. So that's that's the that's the way it goes. But it's it's a wild game, and that that's my biggest thing with Bailey. To me, it's that she's just not adapting. It's just her mind. I, I, mean, I mean, I don't know. I, I always from the beginning of the from the beginning of the show. Uh, I always said Bailey was going to be Anthony's downfall. I always thought she was going to be Anthony's downfall, but I feel like I don't know if she's starting to trust him more. I don't know, but they're having more convos. And again, it's Todd, hard. For, I feel I, I have most faith in Todd being his downfall now. I Todd, think. now, now I could see that. Yeah, after like the yeah. last episode, like he's he's definitely speaking up more about it. But this is, I feel like I don't know what it is. I don't know if these shows aren't showing us enough. I don't know what it is. I just I feel like I don't know where where everybody's minds at. I can't. I just I, I don't know. I, like it's back so in the hard, day, especially, especially to Bruno, there's, and I understand big brother as well. One of the longest Canadian running reality yeah. shows or whatever, like ever. ever productions. It costs a lot of money to put these productions off oh, it's, to have, yeah. to have that money sponsors. You money. need sponsors. You know yep. what I mean? You need sponsors. There's a lot of, there's a lot of filler uh, space in these episodes now because there probably has to be to keep the show continuing. You know what I mean? But because of that, I think we're either getting a sped up version of what happened and leaving things out. You know what I mean? Just getting us to the end, like just from A to B without the yeah. zigzags of how we got there. Um, and I think that was something that was included in the earlier seasons because less sponsors and because that the sponsors took up way less airtime. Now, I don't mind how they're including the sponsors this season. Like, they're fun. They're fun little episodes. But I wish it was for a shorter period of time and we got to see more game talk. We got to see more anything that has to do with the game where we can feel more connected to these yeah. house guests. Yeah. There's just not enough connection. And, and I agree. I a hundred percent agree with everything you just said. I've, I've talked about that many times in the chat. Uh, basically I, I feel the exact same way. And the, the reason why I think they even do it on the, the eviction episode. And again, I don't know that side of the business of it, you know, but that's the most watched episode I'm assuming is eviction night. Right. Yeah. So you have a sponsor like the last one. It was Samsung. It was like 21 minutes of a Samsung commercial 21 minutes of the show was samsung commercial i tweeted about it and i couldn't it was, it was a bad episode in my it opinion was and because of that reason yeah 100 percent. i said the same yeah. thing now i and again i'm with you i completely understand without money yeah. there's no show it's a at the end of the we day big brothers business, business, business. Wise. business wise we get it yeah but yeah it, it was too much man like yeah and and again maybe in the con and i don't know the contract that they have i don't know how the business that side of it okay but maybe it says we need this much airtime of our product yeah. it has to be on eviction nights you know they obviously want like their their bigger stars doing the the product like v was the the one doing the thing for sure yeah you know so i get all that but it just it really takes the momentum out of the show it really killed it for me it really just like it's an eviction episode we're not seeing any campaigning we're not seeing any anybody fighting None. for their life we're seeing a samsung commercial that's like, hey guys it's time to vote like you just you're missing a huge chunk for me uh yeah. of the show like a big part that i enjoy the show about like i want to see these people like convince other people to keep them or how are they going to get weasel their way through i want to see that exactly. instead we're getting a 21 minute samsung commercial then it's time to vote like what, what is going on here i get the business side they need the sponsors to survive I get it, but there has to be a happy medium somewhere, man. Like, has you to. can't go all in this way. It's just too much, man. 20, 20 plus gonna minutes. It's going to get to man. the point. It's going to get to the point where people are going to stop. Good, good. They're going to stop watching. You know what I mean? One hundred percent. And that breaks my heart. It breaks my heart because <clears throat> I always looked at Big Brother Canada as one of the purest forms of Big Brother. I found that it was we always tried to have a fine line of entertainment, uh, gameplay. We always had gamers. We always had big moves. And like I said, you said there was a, now, yes, last night in a, in a big episode where it was kind of like, oh, lines are being drawn this week. We get 21 minutes of, of, uh, of Samsung. That's insane. It's insane. It, I, I, I yeah. see, I know the business, I get it. Like they need, the money yeah. and I need I know without money there's no show with no show we're not even here talking about it Literally. so like I get it there just has to be a, a there has to be a happy medium for everybody and 
Um, unfortunately, that I, I can because even last eviction episode is the same thing. It was just a big commercial, and I and I, so I'm seeing the pattern that it's like okay, they're they're they you know it's on those nights, yeah. it's it's commercial night, you know what I mean? But it, it's unfortunate because that's the night that you're you want to see like the, the, the everything happen. Right. So and you know Sunday, what? It wouldn't. How have the how have the um, oh my god, uh, the Daily Diaries, um, the digital daily. Dailies- the digital dailies. How have they been? Like, are they? Do you, do you, if if you watch them consistently, are you going to get a pretty good read on? No. Nah. See, you're not. See, that's where that's what's happening, Bruno. I wouldn't mind it. I wouldn't mind a 21 minute commer a 21 minute commercial in the episode if I was able to watch live feeds all fucking week and see exactly what was going on. You know what yeah, I mean? The, the the dailies. I'm going to tell you right now, man. The dailies is basically v kayla and avery having the exact same conversation for three hours really it's so bad man it is so bad that it's like my heart. that actually that actually makes me sad yeah like it actually makes me sad as like a, a a guy who i love the game like when i i love the game i enjoyed watching it and to be honest i thought i thought a lot of the twitter stuff i saw was was pretty toxic kind oh, of thing yeah. and it was and i didn't really i was like man i'm probably better off without this in my life it's like mm-hmm. I, yep. can't, I can't be where if 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 you get a girl out you're sexist or if you get a black person out you're racist or like it's just like it's like it's like come on guys like it's it's like a game that's and you're playing yeah a game. and it's yeah. like yeah, and you guys are and Everyone's it's just go. yeah it, it's so I kind of stepped away from it but one thing I always loved was was the game I loved the I love the thought process that had to go into every single second while you were in that game. Like it was so intriguing to oh, me and crazy. it still is. It still is. So now I can't watch that anymore. I don't get to see, I don't get to see what I want to see on a regular basis from Big Brother That's, Canada. So again, this is something I've talked about many times. I fell in love with the show because of a certain reason. Like you said, the gameplay. I fe- that's what I fell in love yeah. with. That's when I watched the show when it started. That's what got me hooked on the show. Now, it's not even there. It's like a completely different nope. show than what I fell in love with, you know? And it's like, I, I feel like sometimes I'm not even watching Big Brother anymore. And it's hard to to keep that love going for it when it's like, it's not what you started watching. That's not why you watch the show. It's, it's a completely different show now. It's not even, you know what I mean? Uh- Totally yeah, agree. the game players aren't there, and and again, like we're not connecting to these people. Um, like I, we look back, man. Look at season one, season two. You know, go whatever. There's so many personalities that you're like, oh man, remember like John Party or Netta, whatever. You don't get those Ooh. characters anymore. You don't get those people that it was so memorable anymore. You know, it's just like you forget ninety percent. Like, give me name me eight people from last season. I'll give you fifty percent of the cast. Can you name me fifty percent of the cast? I hey, hold can't. on, uh, hold on. Uh, last season, um, Tyshawn, Tyshawn. Yeah. Well, Ty. Um, Ty. Um, I have one. Right, I'll get one That's... more for sure. Do you know what I mean? Like, it's you can't. Like, there's nobody's memorable anymore. It's unfortunate. Whereas before, it I could name you. Bit... Can't. I could can't. you name me Canada's favorite player last year? Like that's the thing. I guess Jackson Leonard, sick... Newfoundland. <laughs> I forgot Jonathan Leonard. <laughs> that is Canada's favorite player. I forgot. Like it's yeah, no shade. Crazy. It's just like, like it's just so different now, man. Like back in the day, I could name you everybody on the cast back in the day. You know, it's crazy. It's crazy. Yeah. But anyway, okay. Talk to me. Who's is Anthony winning the season? Yes or no? No. No. Is no V winning the season? Yes or no? More of a shot, but I would say no. Is Bailey winning the season? Yes or no? No. Is Goose winning the season? Yes or no? Second. Second. Oh, locked. Lock that in. Yeah. Lock it. Locked. Is Tola winning the season? Yes or no? Potential. I think he I think he for him, he's that that assassin that I'm like. Yeah. I am either way. If he can cook, if Tola can yeah. cook a little bit, win a comp. But the thing is. The thing is, if he's too far up Dougie's ass, it's it that's gonna that's gonna hurt him. Yeah. The, the way I look at things too, it's like, especially if you're a second time player, everyone's disposable to you. So like, yes. you know, Dougie will drop Everyone. whoever if he, yeah. Whereas like Tola might get stuck in this, like, I'm locked in. You know exactly. What I mean? Dougie, Dougie does not care about one person in that house besides Dougie. Exactly. I promise you that. And everyone's everyone's disposable to him. Everybody. Every Whereas I think Tola is like, I I Dougie's my boy. You know what I mean? So yeah. I, I think they're in a different mindset there. Uh that's that's the thing I see. 
But but yeah, Tola to me is the biggest question mark. I'd like yep. to see him. I, I like Tola. I do. I don't see enough of him to really, you know, but I do like the guy. Uh, but that's he's, my biggest question Maybe mark. that's the thing. We don't know enough about him to not like it, what he's doing. <laughs> right, right. He could be the worst in there. We have no yeah, idea, well, man. Like, well, he, he must be all right. We haven't seen nothing bad. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And I, that's one thing I always say, too. If you're not on the show, it's not a bad thing. It means you're not in anybody's Especially mouth. Especially early. Talk- right. Exa- early on, exactly. Nobody's talking about you. You're not, you know, you're not in danger. There's no, no. reason to bring you in because you're just you're there right now and, and i now, I, I always damn, say imagine that. going imagine going through the first week of big brother and not getting a dr like that. i know <laughs> yeah, it's like what i watched i was like well, i was like what did he have one i guess you didn't like the first week <laughs> yeah. what about what about todd is he winning todd needs to get lucky but i think todd could like i i i, I would i wouldn't be like oh no shot yeah i wouldn't say no shot no, he I wouldn't lucky, say he though. wins. I would. I'd say he could be like four or five. I think he can go deep, but he Kayla, needs Todd, Todd need to win out. What about uh, Kayla? Kayla? No, Kayla, no. I, I think Kayla. Now again, I don't. We don't know, you know. But I think she's at the bottom of of her alliance, and I yeah. think she's annoying. Like the other house, the other side doesn't like her very much. I think she's there's like nobody. At the there's nobody in that house who's like, damn. Well, I really enjoy Kayla. Yeah. <laughs> like nobody. And you know what? If if you're in the house at this point and nobody's like, God damn, I really enjoyed him. It's gonna be tough for you to get mm. six votes at the end of the game. You know what, what about, I mean? What about Avery? Uh Avery Avery uh I Avery <laughs> What what what? Avery what? I haven't in, I haven't enjoyed watching Avery a whole bunch as a character. You're really um, nice. Right, as a person, seems great. Like, seems you, cool. Whatever. Nice. Can't wait. Can't wait to meet her. You're being <laughs> but nice. I think. I think Avery is far too starstruck by everything that's going on. Um, I think Avery is going to do what Spicy tells her to do. Um, and I can't see Avery breaking away and getting into enough of a leadership role, which I think she's going to need in order to win the game. I uh, I'm not an Avery fan at all, man. I don't know what it is. A lot is. of people aren't, bro. A lot of people aren't. Fan. I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's the, the, she's so uh, if she's so locked into spicy. I, I don't know what it is, man. I just something. I just I don't know. I just can't. that's what I it just... was for me. That's what it was for me. I think where it's just like the the like you could see it in her eyes the minute Spicy and Anthony walk in. It was like she was like oh like lit up and i was oh, like yeah. oh oh she is she will go to battle for these guys even unknowingly yeah well it's just it's, what a coincidence right spicy v's are favorite and spicy v's on the literally show. what a coincidence you know what i mean just yeah you know it must is, be nice for spicy yeah 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 yeah. imagine <laughs> that imagine going in and like your biggest fan is in there you know like come on good night dennis much love buddy yo dennis have a good night man it's always good to see you up in here bud you be safe i'll see you like a dennis i'll see you in like two weeks yeah. Three weeks. John will see you Three in like weeks. a few weeks. Not me. Oh yeah. When's the finale? It's in May, right? I've I have my flight's like the eighth to the twelfth or some shit. I don't even You're know. Missing what, the where whole I'm finale. Staying. I don't know. Wait, when's the finale? The sixth. Oh God, that's terrible. I have to <laughs> change my flights. <laughs> I don't know. Don't listen to me. I am just making oh. shit up. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I, I was like, I was like, I was like, God damn, Donna doesn't know when her own finale is. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't know. Honestly, I don't. Uh, Peter messaged me. He, he, Peter probably messaged you know. He'll yeah, tell you yeah, the yeah. dates and stuff. He'll tell yeah. you. I don't know. Peter, the Peter sends me like Excel sheets of like oh, the yeah, weekend but... plans. I'm like, Peter, like, listen, I will be <laughs> there for the first night. After that, I have no guarantees on anything. <laughs> Those are great. I know I get them every year. I love it. You got to love so it. The work it. Yeah, but okay. So I want, I have two questions for you, John, and then I can let you go if you want to dip, Let's man. Or, okay. Who's winning the season and who's Canada's favorite? Give, give them both. Oh, who's winning this season? I'm going to say, I am going to say, this is going to be so, and I just thought about this right now. Uh No one's expecting what I'm going to say, Lexus. I forgot. I think, I think since Matt is gone now, Lexus finds her footing, gets back in with the girls, or rides with straight up Dougie and does damage. I forgot about Lexus to the point where I asked you what you think of everyone, and I didn't yep. even bring her name up. I literally she just forgot. Popped in my head. 
I literally forgot about her. I didn't even ask you what you thought of her. But there you go. She's the winner. Uh, what's your uh, What's your uh, Canada's favorite? You know who I got to go with. You know who I got to go with, Prince. You think I got to go with my girl. I got to go with my girl, Bales. You're not for real. I think, I think from what I've seen on social media, I think there's John. a lot of hype around Bales. John. I've I've been off social media. I haven't really looked forward. <laughs> John. Okay. Okay. You know what? I don't want. You know what? Okay, outside of my friends, not including my friends, who do I think is going to win, or who do I think is going to win Canada's favorite? Yeah. Oh, Dennis has a good shot. Dennis. Dennis has a good shot. I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say Todd. Oh, you know what? I also forgot. It's a voting thing, isn't it? You know it. If, uh, Newfoundland does not lose those very often. Newfoundland <laughs> doesn't miss, bud. No, we don't lose those very often, bro. <laughs> yeah, I, I think I think Todd, and especially if he goes deep. Like the real, the reality is, the deeper you go, obviously, you know, the more, more screen time, sure. and you know, they're gonna get to your story. Unless and, you go, unless you go out the way Dennis did, then it's like oh, we'll remember that one for a minute. Yeah, that one's <laughs> that, one, yeah, that one's gonna sting for a while. <laughs> I think uh, I I think I think Todd, but I mean, who knows, man? Who knows? It's I just I don't know. There's nobody like that's grabbing me. Nobody, man. Nobody, nobody. nobody. I I can't. Like I just can't. There's nobody. So, no. uh, your winner pick was Lexus, and your Lexus. Canada's favorite was Bailey. Bailey, or Dennis. Okay. Bailey has a friend. Dennis has a, Dennis has a <laughs> I was guessed. <laughs> All right. No, I, listen, I, I, you know, I always bust your balls about Bailey and shit, but um, all jokes aside, man, like I, I really do want to cheer for her. I think she's got the right mind for her. I think she's the player left in the house to do damage. And she's got to snap out of whatever the fuck she's in right now, for rearrange sure. herself, just refocus and be like, Hey, what is going on? I got to reassess yeah. the situation. And I, I hope so. I mean, I, I would love to sit here and be like, yo, Bailey all the way. I just I need her to snap out of it, man. I need she her to start be... cooking. You gotta get. She gotta start cooking. Yep, yep, yeah, for sure. John, I want to say thank you so much for coming in, man. Chat. I want everybody in the chat to say what's up to John. Make sure you follow him, guys. John Party. What's up, guys? Legend. Follow him. What up, guys? Follow him. What are you doing here? Still follow him. No, stay here. Don't go far. But follow. Him. <laughs> Come on, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> no, we love John very much, man. Like I said, guys, he's been. Uh, since I came out on season three, man, he was uh, he was literally one of the first people that was just so cool. Actually, You're my brother, time out, dude. time out. This is in a true season three. <laughs> this is a better story in season three. In season three. In the house in season. I said, "Yo, man, you make sure you say hi to my family for me." You know, I told yeah. him straight up. Guess who went and did it? Yeah, <laughs> he came in the house, and I went up to him, and they're like, "Do not talk to him." He, they're like, "Don't talk to John. John, you can't talk to the house guest. Nothing." And me, I don't give a fuck. I walk up. I was like, John, you jumped in my arms. We were were jumping around. (laughs) Yeah. 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 And I was like, yo, you make sure you say what's up to my fam for me, you know? And, uh, and this fucking guy did. And they told me as soon as I came home, they're like, yo man, he did. He told me. So I I, I do appreciate John. And he's just a beauty man. And uh, we had some good times, man. We've had some good times. Oh yeah. Well, listen, we're, listen, we're still young ish on your end, but we're still young ish. But listen, we have many, many great years to come, bro. Well, the way you said, uh, whoa, when I told you how, how old I am, <laughs> I, it sounds like I'm like, I'm like on my way out, man. You know what I mean? He's like, shit, man. We got to, we got to start doing those bucket list things. You know what I mean? Let's. <laughs> we, do but, want, we do want one final trip or something. Yeah. Bro. Yeah. We need that final trip like now, you know? So, uh, but no, man, I appreciate you so much, brother, man. And, uh, and it's always good to chat. Hit me up anytime you're, you know, I'll tell you hey, what, we'll I'm going to, we'll do this again. So we'll do this again sometime this season for sure. We'll do an eviction night. I think next week I'm, uh, doing the live with, uh, with, uh, Dennis, um, Dennis, Donna Sweet. and, um, J nine. J yeah. J nine. Yeah. So that, that'll be, that'll be a good time. And then man, like the next, I think I'm in Vegas the week after for Adam Klein's wedding, maybe, but like yeah. we'll, we'll link, we'll do it. We'll do a finale episode, uh, before the season's over guaranteed, not a finale, uh, uh, eviction episode. You say the word, man. Anytime you, you're always invited here. You know that baby. Love that dude. Bruno, I appreciate you, man. Thanks for having me on. Appreciate the time, dude. Anytime. All right, buddy. Take it easy. Peace out chat. See you later.